Yo, what is going on guys? We're playing some NHL 16. We're going to be going over the NHL 17 eSports Hockey League gameplay trailer video thing. Whatever you'd like to call it. That's what we're going to go over today. We're going to show you the footage of the video and we're going to talk about it of course. And this is going to be obviously my favorite trailer thing they make of all of them because I am a big fan of EA Sports Hockey League so I'm really looking forward to it. One of the first things they're going to be talking about in this video is the customization of the players that you're going to have added customization this year in EA SHL. EA's greatest online team play experience is more competitive and customizable than ever in NHL 17. The first step on your road to glory is to create and customize your player, including new head and facial options, hairstyles, and equipment. Once you've locked down your look, it's time to step onto the ice. So they talk about, you know, added heads, facial, you know, face, facial hair, equipment. You know, I was never really a picky kind of guy about the face, facial hair. I just like scoring goals. But looking forward to the new equipment, you know, they're talk I do see that the jersey tuck is back. I forgot they even took that out of the game, but I was a big fan of the jersey tuck. And it also looks like there's some sort of knee pad customization deal. That was another added equipment thing they had so we'll see how that comes in as well next thing on the list we're going to talk about is the new drop-in systems take part in our new drop-in system lobbies now roll over from game to game giving you the best chance to build chemistry with other so like-minded players lobbies roll over this is exciting because you know it lets you build chemistry with your team maybe even avoid the trolls that are out there you know you can go ahead go ahead and you remember who that position was on your team and go ahead and Make sure you don't play them again, of course. And also, you got to pick your spot before searching. This seems nice because, you know, there's always people who are going in. They want to play forward, and they just back out, and it can be irritating. So this will give you the position right away, make it a lot easier on people to go ahead and find what they'd like. Next, we're going to talk about is some jersey customization being added into this game. Deepest customization we've ever featured, the possibilities are almost endless as you tailor every aspect of your team's identity. You begin with a blank jersey so, template and minimal team branding options. As your team progresses, you'll unlock new customization items including custom logos, alternate uniforms, shoulder patches, and much more. So what it looks like is there is a blank jersey template. You can unlock stuff by playing, you know, I they've made that very adamant they want you to play to unlock stuff in this game so you got you know shoulder patches alternate unis and all that other stuff you know you want to unlock your logos you got to play games as you see me started with some really default letter logo deals so that'll make it you know give people another reason to go ahead and play some games next thing we're going to talk about is the arena upgrades and customization one thing but having home ice advantage takes your team to the next level start off in your local community rank but like any player, you always have to think bigger. As your brand grows and your team progresses, so will your stadium, until you've grown into a full-size, state-of-the-art arena. NHL 17's all-new Arena Creator lets you customize everything, including your building's architecture, seating patterns, goal horns and songs, and much more. Having the ultimate home for your new franchise will make that sellout crowd seem bigger and louder than you've ever heard in the past. So they're talking about how you start in a small local arena, you know, your little small beer league hockey team arena kind of deal and you got to win to upgrade that arena and you know you also get to unlock custom goal horns there's going to be seating patterns they were showing you know four or five choices on how your seating patterns look there was custom fires coming out of the video board and as great as fires sound we are playing on ice so you know that's a little it's a little skeptical but this does give people a lot more of a reason to quit camping in Division 10. Because obviously, if you're camping in Division 10, you're going to have to make a new club and your arena is going to be boring looking every time. So hopefully that gets the people out of Division 10 a little bit because it will be more fun to get more people up in higher divisions and get more competition up there as well. So the next thing we're going to talk about, and one of the final things, is the classes and badges being added in next year's game. Getting into the game, four new player classes open up new styles of play for your team. With 18 classes to choose from in total, you'll now have more options to fine-tune your optimal strategy on the ice. As games are completed and milestones are hit, you'll earn player badges and level increases, unlocking customization items for your player, team, and arena. 
Taking yourself and your team to the highest level is never easy, but in our most competitive and customizable EA Sports Hockey League yet, we're making sure that the journey there is just as fun as that feeling at the top. So from the looks of it, they're saying there's 18 classes total, four new classes, and from what I've seen, the four new classes are a puck-moving demon, hitting sniper, jumbo playmaker, and two-way dangler. And obviously as well, you know, they're showing the badges that unlock new equipment. Finally making badges mean something. It's about time. Badges were fun and all last year, but you could only, you know, slow progressing system. There's only three levels. And as you've seen, there was hat trick badges this year. So, you know, you guys want to see, you can go ahead and max out the hat trick badges for the fastest. That seems like a good time. Not to mention XP for completing games. Oh, man, did I... It was one of those, that, you know, you could just play games for days last year. If you max out your position you played, you know, I was a big fan of playing Sniper in smaller lobbies, uh, Power Forward, 2 Forward, and, you know, bigger Sixes games. And by the time you max out your games complete, you can no longer get XP for that position. So it was nice to see that they did show you could get XP for completing games. They showed 150 XP. It just said completion bonus. It didn't say, you know, badge or anything for da-da-da-da-da for doing it. So hopefully that's, you know, another thing that you can make. XP is definitely wanted something definitely wanted something to be able to see to make more XP in this game So I'm definitely looking forward to that and as always guys I'd like to hear what you guys think of the a sports hockey league You know trailer video thing and what you guys are looking forward to that you'd also like to see in the a sports hockey league as always guys I hope you like the video and thanks for watching